Greetings people of, you, people of YouTube, this is MKM Forever, Tony once again. And, uh, you know, I just decided to make this little quick video because there's been something on my mind lately about um, this sort of news that I've, that I've heard on the internet. Thanks to Efri, by the way. Thank you, Efri. If you're, if you're listening to this, man, thank you very much for sending me that link to that, to that news. And, um... Uh, it, as you probably saw in the title on top right now, it says, it, it, you probably, you know, you're starting to think, what, what is this, right? But, I, the reason I am here making this video right now is because I have to t speak up, okay? Because the fans, um, every fan of the thing that I'm about to talk right now is, um, it, it has to speak up. It feels compelled to speak up. Anyway, the news is, um... As as some of you may have heard, there is this video game <clears throat> that personally I'm a big fan of. It's called uh, Uncharted, and it has a sequel video game, which is uh, Uncharted 2: Drake uh, Among Among Thieves, I think it is. And uh, I played both video games, and they're very good video games. You know, it's basically um, kind of like an Indiana Jones thing, kind of like Indiana Jones meets The Rundown, pretty much. You know, that's what it is. Indiana Jones meets the rundown. And, um... <clears throat> and basically what... Uh, what Hollywood is doing... Is uh, apparently trying to do... Is make a movie. Based on those video games. And, uh... I, I, when I heard, first heard this, I was over, overjoyed. Because when, uh... I, there... I was overjoyed because I want to see this made into a movie. I want to m see this video game made into a movie. But at the same time, I'm kind of skeptical to it because I don't want it to turn into something like uh, like the Resident Evil movies. I don't want it to turn into that because, I mean, the Resident Evil movies, um, I don't hate them, but they're not even close to the video games. I played the video games once, and uh, just once though. Uh, because I believe a cousin of mine had it. I can't remember. A friend of mine had it. But, uh... <clears throat> uh, yeah, I played it once, and, uh... And, and it's, it's okay, you know, not my taste, but... Anyway, getting back to this. I don't want it to be... Turn into... I, I didn't want the movie to be, like, unrelated to the video game, right? But, anyway. At the end, they're still making this... And they're, they're still trying to make this movie, right? And the thing is... A, uh, they, they decided on a director, but, uh, I can't, I wish I could remember the director's name, oh god. It's, um, the same director who is directing this new movie called, uh, Fighter. It stars, um, uh, Matt, uh, Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale. It's about this, um, boxer, and it's a boxing movie, kind of like Rocky, you know, it's something within that realm. And, um, you know, he, I, According, from what I can tell from the from the trailer, he's a decent director, and uh, he's the one who's in charge of making the Uncharted movie. Which okay, because I mean, I would have seen personally, I could have seen um, somebody else directing this movie, but you know, he's he's okay. You know, personally, he's a, he's an okay choice, and um, I figured all right, you know, at least they're taking it seriously. To, didn't get just some random new guy director. They actually got a guy who's got some credits doing movies. But, and I was, and I've been uh, optimistic about this movie for a while now. But, up to up to a couple days ago. A couple of days ago, I heard the news that they finally cast somebody to play Nathan Drake. Now, Nathan Drake is the lead in the video game, okay? He is like the, the coup de gras of the video game. He's a very cool character, you know. And, um... And, and, and the guy that got for this... Now, now, personally, as a fan... Before I say who they got... As a fan... And, as... as all the fans want this guy... As, uh... <clears throat> as the... As Nathan Drake. Everybody wants him. And that person is... Drum roll, please. Nathan Fillion. That's right. I'll say it again. Nathan Fillion. 
Now, we all know who Nathan Fillion is, okay? Um, I mean, if you haven't seen Firefly, I recommend you do see the, the show. As well as the movie, you know, Serenity. It's a, it's a great movie. And, um... Uh, this, Nathan Fillion is a very good actor, in my opinion. He can be a dramatic actor, and he also has that... You know, it's kind of... I put him in the same league as I would put Ryan Reynolds, you know? And, and you know, I, 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 as, at, at that same league, and... Maybe, hell, why not? Robert Downey Jr. That same league. I would put all these three guys in the same group, you know, classification or whatever. <clears throat> it's kind of, the, he's that kind of director. You know, director, excuse me. That kind of actor, you know. He's a, he's a funny guy, you know. And I could see him, and I could see him, and every other fan could see him very easily as Nathan Drake. Okay. And um, now, here comes the bad news. The bad news is, we, the director has this chance to direct this movie and choose Nathan Fillion, right? But, you know who they got? Oh my god. It's actually really sad. Um, drum roll. Mark Wahlberg. That's right, Mark Wahlberg. Now, uh, what can I say? Did you see Max Payne? Did you see it? I I saw it, uh, and I don't want to talk about it because I played video games Max Payne, and it was just sad to see this turn into a movie. The how the movie came out anyway, and oh my god, <laughs> nothing against Mark Wahlberg as an actor, but he just gets miscast uh, all these times. You know, each time he gets miss, his his movies are always pretty good when it's their own movie. You know, I mean, The Departed was okay, you know, and I liked him in The Departed. He was cool. And, um, let's see. And The Fighter, I can tell he's going to be cool in that, you know. But, uh, but when it comes to movies, you know, like hot, like video game movies, video game based movies, uh, Mark, please stay away from those, okay? And it's sad. Because, now we're telling you, as fans, okay? If the, this is a message to the director right here. We are telling you, Mr. Director. Um, I for, I forget. I know. I wish I had your name right here because I I had your name, but I can't. I wrote on a piece of paper and I can't find a paper. But I'll probably put it on uh right here in, in letters or something. I don't know. But uh, is this a message to you? Please choose Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake in the Uncharted movie. Okay. If you want to make any kind of money. As a, from this movie, you will choose Nathan Fillion, okay? You choose Mark Wahlberg, you're pretty much giving the finger to all the fans, okay? You're pretty much pulling an ooey ball, okay? Because ooey! Ooey ball is... Oh my god. When it comes to video game movies, please, again, stay away from the video game movies. Because I think he... Ooey ball is he's an okay director. He's not a bad director, but... Stay to the stuff that you know, okay? The stuff that you made, okay? Because that's when he's at his best, in my opinion. But, anyway, come, come back to this. Please choose Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake for the Uncharted movie. Please. All the fans are begging for it, okay? And you know this. There was a fan that actually came up, came up to you and told you they, that every fan wants Nathan Fillion for this role, okay? So it's not like it's not to your attention. They, this person told you, okay, and you just check the internet, okay. If you're watching this, check everything that has to be has to do with Uncharted. It's Nathan Fillion is connected to Uncharted. Look, he looks like Nathan Drake. He sounds like Nathan Drake, and for the love of God, his name is Nathan. Nathan, have Nathan Fillion play Nathan Drake. It's not too hard, okay. The only more, more perfect casting choice, uh, like, for example, it would be like not choosing Mickey Rourke for Marv. You understand? From Sin City. It's another subject, I know, but it'd be like choosing, I don't know, it'd be like choosing Arnold Schwarzenegger to play Marv. Okay? And Mickey Rourke is Marv. Okay, that's that's the point. I mean, no question about it. He is Marv. Nobody else can play that role. And Nathan Fillion is Nathan Drake. Okay, 
because first of all, he has a personality, he has a voice, he has a name, he does good with the action stuff. I know you're probably going to say, oh, he doesn't have time, but please, come on, that show Castle is not taking up any, a lot of his time, and I'm pretty sure that he gave, if you gave him the opportunity, he would nail it, nail it, okay? And please reconsider putting Nathan Fillion in this because if you want, again, if you want to make money and you want to please the fans, this thing has a fan base, okay? Okay? And I'm not saying that for sure so it's going to be bad, okay? Now, okay, here's the thing. You want to put Mark Wahlberg knowing, after Max Payne, you want to put Mark Wahlberg, think about this for a second. After Max Payne, you want to put Mark Wahlberg in the lead in, uh, in another video game movie. Now, I'm not saying for sure there will be problems. But I want you to think about it, okay? Think hard, okay? Because this... In fact, don't think. We're just telling you what to do, okay? It's, we, we're we telling you that we want Nathan Fillion. You, I heard you say that Nathan Fillion is a nothing. I beg to differ. Okay, I beg to freaking differ. Okay, Nathan Fillion is a great actor, you know, and, uh, you know, just go with Nathan Fillion, it's, that's all I'm saying, please, if you want to make money, if you want to please the fans, please make Nathan Fillion, if you go with Mark Wahlberg, I'm sorry, but I will, I, along with a lot of other fans of the video game, will lose the faith we have in this movie, okay, so Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake, or Mark Wahlberg as Nathan, and, and make money, and or Mark Wahlberg as Nathan Drake and lose a lot of cash. Okay, you, you want to get asses in the seat? Pick Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say in this video. Anyway, let's see. I've been talking about for about let's see, about 12 minutes now. 12 minutes, yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna wrap this video up because it's gonna be a quick video. No, not too long. So. Uh, Please, <laughs> please, please, all the fans are begging for it, please, pick, please, for the love of Christ, please pick Nathan Fillion, and, and please, if you want to make any kind of money at all, please go with Nathan Fillion. As for my friends on here who have played the video game, please speak up, okay, please be, speak up, we got we got to let them know the, who we want, okay? So please, Mr. Director, please put Nathan Fillion in there. Okay, so I think I've gone on long enough, and I think I made my point. So uh, I'm just going to wrap this video up. You know, go back to making tributes. You know? I still got a lot of tributes left to make. And uh, so uh, I'll see you all later. And uh, so this is MKM Forever signing off. Later.